Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial. It's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics here, and today we're based in Adobe Illustrator. The reason why we're here today, guys, is to discuss the 3D and materials window within uh, Illustrator. As you can see, I've got an example in front of you here today of three vases. And if you look at these three vases, they have three different types of materials. And what I'd like to do is show you how to apply materials to your illustrations. And then what I'd like you to do is go on and create some really cool 3D looking illustrations within your graphic design life. Okay, how do we create and how do we manipulate materials within Adobe Illustrator? So what I'm gonna do first of all is, let's just quickly set, set up another artboard for us to, um, to design. So what I'm gonna do is come to my artboard tool here, come to this little plus sign, plus a new artboard there, let's move a little bit across like so. Okay, so what you need to do first of all is create the shape that will therefore be implemented within the 3D materials window, okay? So I'm gonna simply use my pen tool here and I'm gonna make a shape like so. I'm gonna place an anchor there, like so there. I'm gonna press shift and come down because I'm on a nice straight line. So you're probably around there. Let's swap the fill and the stroke around. And then if I come down, I'm gonna click with my mouse, press shift, draw this out a little bit like so. Create a curvature path, perfect. Then I'm gonna come there and join out like so. And let's press shift. Do a nice little straight line there. Okay, so let's build this stroke to see where we can do it. So let's put a black stroke in there and we're just gonna increase that stroke probably around to about 10, I believe we do. Yeah, perfect. Meh. Maybe add a little bit more to that. 15. Okay, so how do we get our 3D and materials window out? What we need to do is go to window and we have 3D and materials. And what I'm gonna do is first we'll come to object and we're gonna go extrude. And then what we're gonna do is come to revolve here. Now, as you can see, it hasn't given us the right effect or the right style, it's very easy. All we need to do is come here and change the offset direction from the right edge, please. And as you can see, automatically, my vase now is coming to life. It's, it's already there, okay? Now, we have different presets on the rotation that we can do. We can do uh, isometric right, if you're looking at that, or anything isometric top. Okay, but we're looking at that um, angle that we had before. I'm pretty happy with the off axis front angle. Okay, now you see we have three different types of options at the top here. Object, obviously that's where you come and manipulate the 3D nurse and, and create the shape. But as you can see here, we have materials. What we can do now in this new 3D materials window is obviously apply materials to objects within Adobe Illustrator. And it really, really brings a sense of realism up, okay? So as you can see here, we have many different types of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, preset uh, materials that we can apply. Let's say for instance, I like marble paint. And now what's gonna happen now is the marble paint material will now be applied to this particular illustration, as easy as that. And one of the benefits of the materials is you can manipulate and change the material to fit your requirements as you can see we have the four main colors within it so if i now was to come and change this one here let's go for sort of a nice ready kind of color okay and as you can see now look it's starting to change depending upon your requirements we have many different options down here we have paint roughness that we can change we have the pattern that we can change and uh, maybe bring that pattern down a little bit. I prefer it like that. There we go. We have the stain in de uh, stain density, which you may want to bring that down a tad. You can change the color of the stain. Okay. Rotate position. All changeable rotation there. All changeable for you. What you may want to do is completely change the hue shift of it, which you can do. Really cool. Okay. So when you start to play, really get to know about these these options and really start to manipulate and dictate the material to fit your actual uh, requirements and what you're trying to look for. Okay. 
And as you can see, there's many different ones. You could have the gold, neutral, natural feel, gold leaf, fold. Okay, all of these materials are there for you at your will. And you might want to add some sort of snake, snake skin sort of effect. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have a little library of probably about what, 20, 15 to 20 materials there. Okay. But we should be able to download more. If you come to this little icon here, okay, as you can see, find out, uh, find more materials with Substance 3D Community Cert Assets. So if I was to click that, as you can see now, it takes me to the internet and I have all of these materials that I can download. Okay, leopard, varnish, parkway, wood flooring. You have plastic base, ceramic glass, cooktop. Okay, all of these materials for you. You have different um, categories on the left-hand side here. So we may say organic. Okay, so you're getting eyeballs, really cool looking stuff. You have, <clears throat> excuse me, asphalt, all different types like road, concrete, marble. Okay. Now let's say for instance, I'm a fan of the Vanish Parquet wood flooring. Okay. What I'm going to do now is download this one here, right? So it comes this little icon here. And then we're going to download. Okay. So then now how do we put, <coughs> excuse me, that, <coughs> I do apologize for coughing today. Um, the, uh, now how would I implement and upload that material within to my materials library? It's easy, okay? But you just gotta know the process of how to do it. So if I was to come back to Illustrator, like so, fantastic. Okay, let's make sure that's downloaded. And I think it has now. So what we need to do in our 3D materials window here is come to this little plus sign, add new materials. And what will happen is your finder will pop up. What we'll do here is we'll come and plus that in, wait for a couple of seconds. And it should be now implemented within to your materials library for you to use at your disposal. And what would also happen as well is it will give you options to change it, to manipulate it. And as you can see now, it's starting to upload within to my library. OK, so I highly recommend you guys going out and then shopping around for different types of materials. OK, really cool effect there. Yeah. And yet again, like I say, it's all changeable, manipulatable, dependent upon what you're trying to achieve. OK, now let's say I'm happy with this wooden type of vase that I've created. What I want to do now is I actually want to render the image. OK, because as you look at it now, it, it looks real, but I just want to add a sense, an extra sense of realism to this. OK, so what we can do is come to this little icon here and we can render with ray tracing. And when I click this button, right, for you, it may take a couple of seconds for Illustrator to work it out. What it does, it adds an extra sense of realism in the sense of lighting, um, shading, materials coming together. OK, so I highly recommend when you're using the materials tool is to always render at the end. OK, and as you can see, look at the result that has come out there. What I may want to do now is just align that better within the um, document here. Now, as you can see, when I start moving this right, it is always gonna be a process of um, rendering, okay? Whenever you move the element, it obviously it's, 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 moved, it's moved in a different position, so therefore there's different lighting uh, positions and um, adjustments, right? To stop that and just to finalize everything, what you could do is expand the experience on this particular shape. So if you go to object, you can expand the experience. Fantastic. And now you'll move this around and you'd have no issues at all. So let's get this placed a little bit better then on the artboard. Fantastic. And let's create a nice little background. So I'm going to use my rectangle tool here and create a nice rectangle on the top. Let's put a shape in there. Uh, sorry, shape. Let's put a color in there of some sort. Nice little peach, peachy kind of color we can go for. Nice. And then I was simply, what I'm going to do is right click with it on the uh, shape. And sent to the back, and maybe make that color light, that color a little bit lighter, like so. There we go. 
And there you have it, guys. That is how you apply materials to objects within Adobe Illustrator. If you're finding out more, if you're interested in finding out more uh, about the school that we offer and the courses, our teachers, please visit our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, as well, check out our Instagram, uh, Blue Sky Graphics UK. Also, as well, guys, there are weekly tu tu tutorials that come out uh, from Blue Sky Graphics, ranging from Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Elementor, XD. We have some future ones coming up around um, motion graphics and animation. So please, please, please take a look. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.